Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Vicki and you are watching Vita with Vicki. And for today's video, we're going to go over the November budget. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background, this is my first video on budgeting. So I will be planning to do this every month and um, in a couple weeks go over mid month and then let you know how I ended out the month previously. So I will show you a little bit about October today. Um, in addition, I will go over um, our sinking funds and talk a little bit. I budget. I thought I budgeted <laughs> years and years and years thinking that I was doing a good job. And what I realized is once I discovered Dave Ramsey was that I was just putting my bills on a spreadsheet and marking them when I paid them off. And so what's interesting about that was I was never late. I paid all my bills on time, but I forgot to budget for life, like David Ramsey says. And at the end of the month, I realized I still had, or I should say at the end of the money, I still had a lot of month left. And so I was putting that on credit cards. Um, I got married and my husband quickly let me know that that's not the way normal people, or I should say, I guess normal people do live that way, but, um, you know, good responsible people don't. So now we budget for everything and it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, okay. So let's start out here just by going over some of the basics. I work in Google Sheets. I know some people do these videos on Excel. I like to have access to them anywhere and everywhere, so I choose Google Sheets. I'm also choosing to show you the function um, bar because when I watch some of these videos, I'm like, oh, what's that formula that they're using? And they never show it. So I decided to show you um, exactly what this is going to look like. And in case we do any changing, you'll see it here. Um, okay. So income, I know some people black out all of this and, um, at the end of the day, I mean, you're going to see how much my bills are and you're going to kind of guess to me anyway. So whatever, I'm just not going to show you exactly who makes what just for, you know, whatever. My husband gets paid monthly and I get paid at the last day of the month and the 15th. So I take the 15, the last day of the month's, um, check and I count it for the next month. So for tomorrow, the 31st, I will account that for no the beginning of November. Um, we have a condo and we receive rent. So that is income. Although you'll quickly see all the expenses that go out. <laughs> um, doesn't even cover it, but anyway, we, I also do the pre-tax dollar for daycare. So they take out $208.33 pre-tax dollar for me at, on every paycheck. And then extra and supplemental. So if I go on a business trip, this is where I put that money back to pay myself back. And then overages, this is any money extra from envelopes. So like last month I had a bunch of money. I still have to take it to the bank, but I budget our cash envelopes weekly and I wasn't paying attention like how much was still left in the envelope. I would just quickly move it over to my overages and I really want to pay attention to what I'm spending weekly because maybe I could readjust our budget, our cash envelope budget. So that I will be paying a little more attention to. Um, I didn't get a chance to do the percentages of income. I just need to copy it over, but from October, you can quickly see, you know, kind of what I did here. And, um, I'll do that probably by the mid, um, checkpoint. Okay. So moving on, um, I discussed in a previous video that I'll link below how we pay our mortgage. So we pay it twice a month, every other Tuesday. And you'll see here, um, the dates that those are coming out electronically. Um, so what I do and without going into further explanation, you can watch the video, but basically I take the mortgage, I add some, an extra payment for principal, I divide it by 12 and then, um, I, I cut it in half. So whatever this is for the whole month, that's our bill. <laughs> um, HOA. So the HOA on the condo is $315. 
Um, last month, our gas and electric was $158.92. I do have all the list of all of our bills here. Um, so over the course of a year, I can see kind of roughly um, where we're at. And you can see here, I highlight what's remaining. So we still have the month of November and December. So um, October was a um, pretty like we used a lot. I don't know if it was AC. We live in California, so we have Indian summers here. Um, but if I look at last year's, I can quickly see how much I think we'll use, but I, who knows? I need to get one of those nests to regulate that. Waste management. This gets paid every, I get this confused with trash, but basically, um, I mean, I get this confused with water. I believe waste management is every three months, every quarter, and water is every two months, or it's vice versa. Anyway, nonetheless, I budget um, monthly for these. Yeah, this one is quarterly. This one is every two months. Um, RSC. I'm going to touch on this probably in another video, but this is our um, embryo storage. So we had fertility issues and we have one embryo still frozen and I'll probably talk a little bit more about that in another video. Um, our internet is $60. Cable is $134. I'm still trying to convince my husband to cancel it. I think once the World Series is over, we'll be able to. <laughs> Um, alarm, we have ADT, and that's really important to mm -hmm. us. Sirius XM, this is super important. My husband has an hour and a half commute be both ways, and, um, you know, satellite radio is something that is his splurge on himself, and I think he deserves it. Cell phone. Um, so this is his, and this is mine. Mine's going to go down, though, and I should have... I need to check the dollar amount. Um, this was including my phone, but I just paid it off last month. Um, my husband's gym, our state farm. This has everything. I really do need to shop this. Um, there is a whole life policy that I just need to shop. But to be honest, I feel like I'm overweight. And when I go and I do the quote on Dave Ramsey's Xander Insurance, whatever the affiliate is, it's kind of expensive because I'm not in the best shape. And so I'm like the worst. Anyway. Um, so this is homeowners, <laughs> renters insurance, um, life insurance for both of us, car insurance on two cars. It's got a bunch of policies, so that's what that is. And then Hilton Honors, this is where we still use a credit card. We put everything on it, and this is what I'm budgeting. I actually should probably budget like $2,000 um, for that. Okay. So that is total fixed expenses of 72,000 or 7,200, 72,000. Um, our childcare for this month is 650 because it's five weeks. She charges us weekly. Um, normally it's about 520, but this is for five weeks. Um, Kenna, she is our cleaning lady and I love her and I'm not giving her up. <laughs> um, this week I go over this in my cash envelopes video. So I actually probably won't spend much time on it. Um, so that's 1830. You can watch my video on that. I'll link it below. And then um, our electronic syncing funds. So one of the things that happened was when we got married, we had separate accounts, obviously. Um, we both banked with Wells Fargo. And so what we did was we just added each other to each other's account. And each of us had an automatic deposit from our checking into our savings. So what we did was we just named those accounts. And um, my husband's we just call the life happens and um, mine is a date night. And so um, from there, we just have those, you know, kind of accruing. I don't know if I'm going to put the balance here because it really doesn't matter. We just budget for it automatically does it. Um, our emergency fund. So we have, we use Capital One 360. I'll put our link in there in the notes section if you want to use Capital One 360. We have an automatic $100 transfer going. Um, it just has always done it. And so we're, we just keep um, accruing that. I know that most people do $1,000 and set, you know, and then stop for their emergency fund. But because we have the two properties, I just don't feel comfortable or my husband and I don't feel comfortable doing that. So that's kind of what that is. Dining out. I know I'm going to get a lot of crap about this, but we budget $60 a week for dining out. It's probably one meal that like we have tons of leftovers and we'll eat it for three days. It's usually Chinese or something like that, but um, 
it is our one splurge and we don't see the inside of a restaurant but it comes to us <laughs> um gas i have budgeted three hundred dollars let me see what we used because we're not going to get more gas for the rest of the month yeah three 221 last month and I want to say we put it in another $50 so I actually have to update this So I'm gonna leave it at 300 um pest control. This comes every three Months, um, so I budget $40 in an electronic sinking fund same with car renewal We both of our cars renew in August and so um, I like to put money aside from that I'm not putting money in any of these even though they exist there Oh Christmas I think I need to bump this one up. Uh, I think for right now we'll leave it alone. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. So our total sinking funds is nine twenty. The first, the second mortgage. So this is a second mortgage I have on the condo that I need to pay off. I will get into probably another video about why I took this out, but that was dumb. Um, we're still paying for it. And then student loans. So. These are the monthly um, payments for these. And I need to now looking at what we have left over. So this is the total monthly spending is $10,766.09. And we have extra $2166.77. So I think what I'll do is bump up Christmas since it is just a couple of weeks away not too far I just want to kind of put 2,000 to this so let's see here if I put 2,400 1677 let's put that towards because what we want to do is do a zero based budget mm -hmm. Should we put it? Let's put it to birthdays. Well, no, let's just add it to the death snowball, right? Because that's what we're supposed to do. Oops. Sorry. See that you learn how to use Excel really quickly. So you always want to put a plus in between. Or a, an equal sign. 1677. All right, so we got to zero. Woohoo! All right, so that's it. That's our zero based budget. Um, I will be doing a mid year review. Um, I can quickly just show you a couple of things. So here's our balances on what we owe, and maybe I'll go through just our debts here in a bit and our net worth um, in another video. Thank you for watching. And if this was interesting, um, if you have any questions on anything, please don't criticize <laughs> some of our spending. I know, I know we're not supposed to spend on some of these, but oh well, it's just life. Um, feel free to leave me a comment and I look forward to talking to you in the comment section. So don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.